So when it comes to streaming, rarely do we talk about the audio. We talk about the video, 4K, 720p, 8K. In all honesty, if you own an Nvidia Shield, a TiVo Stream 4K, Amazon Fire Stick, you're not using these devices to their full potential. So today I wanted to show you a great home theater system that's gonna knock your socks off. We're taking a look at the Enclave Audio Cinehome 2. Now this is a 5.1 surround sound system, guys. Two rear speakers, two fronts, you have your center, and you do have an eight inch subwoofer. That's gonna give you some amazing bass. The best part about this is that these are completely wireless. You plug in your power, flip the switch, connect to the home hub, and you're all set. So insulation is a complete breeze. Get this set up in five to 10 minutes. The five speakers in the system actually connects to the hub, which controls everything. So in this video, we're gonna do a complete setup. We're gonna show you what's in the box, go through the application, but most importantly, wanna see how it sounds, see how reliable it is. And for anyone that has an Nvidia Shield, a Fire Stick, a TiVo Stream 4K, you're missing that home theater feel until you get a surround sound system. So big shout out to Enclave for sponsoring this video. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So if you're new to the channel, I do everything tech from your streaming reviews, streaming news, product reviews, unboxings, and everything in between. Hit that subscribe button in the top right, smash the notification bell, make sure you select all on notification. That way you won't miss a video or a giveaway. So before we take a look at what's in the box, let's go through the specifications. So first of all, this is the 2020 Enclave Audio Center Home 2. This is a wireless 5.1 home theater surround sound system. Now this does have the Cinehub bundle, which I'll show you what that entails here in a little bit. But also this has 24-bit Dolby Digital Audio and DTS. Now one of the biggest selling points of this is that this is complete plug and play true wireless connected to the hub and you're all set now the center home two speakers are driven by a powerful 24-bit class d amplifier now this gives you crisp sound true 5.1 hd without the need for speaker wires so essentially one cable from the hub into your system should provide the audio signals. Now the center hub is equipped with eARC, which was updated in quarter three of 2020. So brand new technology guys. It is also compatible with ARC, optical, as well as Bluetooth connection. So connect it to your TV, set your audio signal to the appropriate output and you're all set. And just because the new technology is there doesn't mean they forgot about the old one. So whether you have a record player or you had just set it up a certain way, you are still covered. As far as the controls of the system, you can either use the Enclave app or you can use the remote to control the volume as well as power the system on and off. I should mention that these speakers are WISA certified. As far as the WISA certification, that guarantees a certain quality when it comes to this new wireless technology. So two times audio quality. So WISA transfers 24 bit, 48 or 90 kilohertz, which is twice the quality of CD. Less than one one tenth latency, perfect sync. All the speakers of the system are certified to sync within one one millionth of a second also scalable and seamless so automatically recognizes your audio from 2.0 to 7.1 and even 5.1.2 so that's what we guarantees guys just a certain quality and i'll leave a link to this article in the description if you guys wanted to read up more on wisa and a new standard so in addition to the center home 2 Enclave also makes a Cinehome Pro. The main two differences is that the subwoofer on the Cinehome Pro is gonna be a larger subwoofer. So you're gonna get a 10 inch subwoofer and also the rear speaker, the surround sound speaker is gonna be full range speakers. So I'll leave links to both in the description of this video. So as far as what's in the box, you can see most of it here. You have your two rear speakers, you have your two front, your center speaker, and of course you have your eight inch subwoofer. As far as the specifications of the speakers itself, so the subwoofer is gonna be eight inch subwoofer. It is down firing, so the speaker is at the bottom. The center speaker is gonna have two three inch drivers and one one inch tweeter. Now both front speakers left and right are gonna have three inch drivers plus one one inch tweeter. As far as the rear speakers or the bipole surround speakers, these are gonna have two inch drivers in each speakers. As far as the dimensions, the, the center speaker is gonna be five by 16 by three inches and weighs 4.6 pounds. Both 
front speaker is going to be 5 by 3 by 16 and weigh 4.6 pounds. The rear speakers are going to be 4 by 7 by 6 and it's going to weigh 2.86 pounds. As far as the subwoofer, it's going to be a big boy, 14 by 11 by 13 and it's weighing in at 20 pounds. Now also you have box A and you have box B. Now box A is going to have your quick start guide as well as your owner's manual. They give you a set of white gloves and these are for you to wear during the setup to prevent you from getting fingerprints all over your system. So I like that, nice addition. And the last thing included in this box is power cables for your devices. Now box B is going to have your quick start guide as well as a QR code to download the CineHub application. You also have an HDMI cable, power supply for your CineHub, as well as the CineHub itself. And the center hub essentially is going to be the brains of the operation. This is what's going to control the different speakers. So on the back of the center hub, we have our power plug. We also have our service port. Look like it's a micro USB auxiliary. Remember, we have backwards compatibility for your analog signals. We also have optical audio. So that's option one to run your audio. And option two is going to be through your HDMI using ARC or eARC. So yet again, that's going to be a vital part of your system. So with these being wireless, replacing them is easy and getting them reconnected is easy as well, guys. So if you look on the back of this one, for instance, there's a reset button right here. So if you have an issue, you can always reset it. But also if you get a new speaker for whatever reason, you can also use this to pair it to the system. So the rear speakers has mounting options. So you can see right here, if you want to mount it like this or you can hang it on the wall, whichever you prefer. Now this also goes the same with the front speaker. So if you want to hang it like this, that's an option or if you want to hang it straight up and down if you want to. So now we're going to get it all set up, jump into the Center Home app and see what it sounds like. So here's the basic setup for the room. So you can see in the front of my TV, I have the center speakers at the top, the two front speakers are to the right, and my subwoofer is down and to the right of the room as well. Now behind the couch, we have one of the surround speakers sitting on top of the wine cooler, and the other surround speakers in the shelves in the far right. So that will be the speaker that's farthest away from me. Now I should also mention that each speaker in the system is labeled to where it actually goes. So you can see right here, this is the front right speaker, and that will go for the rest of the speakers as well. Now for my setup, I went with the ARC setup, so I found the ARC port on my TV, connect the HDMI cable to the device, and that was it. So another thing I wanted to mention, and in my case, I'm on the Fire Stick, but depending on what device you're on, you might want to go into your audio just to make sure you're taking advantage of the Dolby Atmos. So the Fire Stick, you're going to go to your settings, going to go down to display and sound, and where it says audio, click on that. And now you should see the two options for Dolby Digital Plus as well as Dolby Digital. Check one of these boxes, guys. It should see a vast improvement immediately. One of the best parts of the system is the actual application. So when you download the Enclave application, it will automatically detect the system in your house. So you can see mine is saying Enclave Audio. Once you connect, it's going to show your system and you do have some options there. So looking at the system, all speakers are detected. So with the yellow around them, just lets you know that this is good to go now I should let you guys know that when I first powered it up one of the speakers was not detected I quickly went to the manual and in the manual it told me to actually press the blue button on the back the connect button on the back of the system to reset and then go to Bluetooth reset in the application and that fixed it right away so keep that in mind just in case one of your speakers or multiple speakers are not detected on arrival now the application is going to have your volume control obviously it has your power options right there yes you have a power button here but you can also use a TV remote to power this system on and off now next to the power they have mute they have the volume controls and below that they have the different inputs so they have the optical auxiliary as well as your bluetooth now if you go into your settings this is where you're going to configure most of your sound so right now i do have it in movie mode if i hit the drop down you can see i have auto as well as music so let me just set it to auto and as far as your dynamic range you have three options there as well you can either go to standard maximum or minimum 
And below that you have your whole room stereo and you also have the option to set up a new Enclave device. Now below that you do have a couple options. So the reset wireless is first option and that one I actually used when I first powered up and one of my speakers was not connected. So I had to press the connect button on the speaker, reset the wireless, and then it worked right away. Below that is the firmware update. It is grayed out, which means that I, I've already updated my firmware. I did get a firmware update immediately and that went through with no issues. Now next to that we do have the room setup and the room setup is a configuration for your sitting position in the room. What this does it enables the sound to hit you at the same time guys. So we sit in the room you kind of eyeball how far you are from each speaker and set that distance. So if you're 10 feet away from the subwoofer set your distance to 10 feet. Now this is not to be confused with actual range of each speaker. Each speaker can be easily placed 50 feet away and still have great connection. Now next to that we do have our speaker levels and this essentially uh, is where you can set the speakers to your preference guys. So if one speaker is a little bit far away you might want to increase that volume a little bit just to maintain the surround sound. And also you can use this to essentially crank up your bass. Maybe you're having a party or something. This will be a way to adjust the individual speaker. So I'm going to attempt to play a couple samples for you. I don't fully expect it to translate over the video as it is in real life but this is one of those things whenever you demo in sound it's not going to come out great but let me go ahead and play a couple clips for you as the sound flowing around you makes you feel like you're truly inside the action and that heightens the impact of your entertainment look for dolby atmos in movies tv shows games music and virtual reality experiences and hear your entertainment come alive all around you dolby atmos Go inside the story. So everything worked really well guys. The surround sound is incredible. The bass is amazing, especially when you're playing music. It's really loud and you get high quality as well. Didn't experience any dropouts with the wireless. Everything seemed to work fine. Wanted to give a big shout out to Enclave for sponsoring this video. I'll leave links in the description to both of these systems. If you guys have any questions about them, just drop it in the comment section below. I'm going to go to the next one.